Hey everyone, this is Travis Tressler at Play Tennis Gainesville, and I'm here to talk to you today about racket customization and adding weight to our racket. So why would we want to add weight to our racket? Most of the time when somebody's looking to do this, it's because they have two of the same rackets and they're trying to make both of those rackets feel very similar. When we're talking about racket customization and adding weight to our racket, there's a few things we need to go over. First thing we need to talk about is how we add weight to that racket. The best way to do this is to get lead tape. And you can find this on almost any retail store online, but it'll come in a reel and about one or two inches of this lead tape is equal to a gram. So you'll put this lead tape around your frame here and it'll add more weight and allow you to customize that racket. And before we go into detail about where we add this lead tape and what it allows us to do, I wanna talk about three things. We're gonna talk about the weight of the racket, the balance, how that weight's distributed throughout the racket, and then finally, the swing weight, which is how heavy that racket actually feels when we're swinging it. The first thing we need to talk about with racket customization is the actual weight of the racket. So this is gonna be how heavy that racket is by itself. On most full-size rackets, the weight ranges from eight ounces to up to 12 ounces. So the heavier that racket is, the harder it's gonna to be to swing, but it also is gonna give you more power with that more weight. The lighter rackets are gonna be a little bit easier to maneuver, but it's gonna require a little more effort to get that power and spin on the ball. The next thing we need to talk about with our rackets is the balance. So the balance is gonna be how that weight is distributed throughout the racket. So there's two different terms we use to describe this balance. One is gonna be head light, where the weight's gonna be mostly in the grip of the racket. And then there's also head heavy, where the weight's gonna be mostly up in the frame here. Most rackets have this marked somewhere on the racket. So if I look here, it's gonna be hard for you to see on the camera, but there's a little marking there and it says that my racket's 12 points headlight. So if I hold my racket with one finger in the throat, you'll see that that grips sinking down towards the ground. That means that weight's distributed more in the bottom here. So what are the advantages of having a headlight racket and also a head heavy racket? With headlight rackets, it's gonna be a little bit easier to get more spin on the ball. While with the head heavy rackets, since there's more weight up here, we're making contact with the ball, it's gonna allow you to get more power behind your shots. The last thing we need to talk about before we get into where we want to apply our lead tape is gonna be swing weight. So this is gonna be how heavy the racket feels when you're actually swinging and playing tennis. So this is really more important than the actual weight. Because when we're playing and swinging, that's where we're gonna feel the weight. And when we make these adjustments to the racket where we add lead tape in certain spots, it's usually gonna affect, affect that swing weight and how it feels when we're swinging that racket. One more thing I wanna talk about with the swing weight of our racket, it's gonna be the difference in rackets. So if we have multiple sticks of the same type of racket, it's not uncommon that the swing weight is slightly different in each of your rackets. So when we add that lead tape to our racket here, we're trying to make all of the rackets we own feel as similar as possible with that swing weight when we're swinging that racket and hitting that ball. Now that we've gone over the weight, balance, and swing weight of a racket, I want to talk about adding lead tape to our frames and some of the benefits of where we place that lead tape. So when I'm talking about applying this lead tape, I want you to think of your frame 
as a clock. So up at the top here will be 12 o'clock. We've got the three and nine o'clock positions here. Those two are gonna be the most common areas that we add lead tape to the frame. Finally, we'll talk about adding weight at the bottom of the racket. And there's two places we'll put it in. One could be the actual throat here, or we could add weight to our grip. The first area of the racket I wanna talk about is gonna be at the top at 12 o'clock here. So what's the benefit of adding lead tape up at the top of our frame? Most important thing, it's gonna give us most power possible when we're hitting that ball. Because that weight's up at the top of our racket, or we're actually making contact, that's gonna get more behind the ball, more weight, more force, and allow us to be more powerful with our shots. The next area I wanna talk about is gonna be the three and nine o'clock positions on our frame. So what benefits does this give us by adding weight here? One, it is gonna give us more power since we're moving that weight up closer to where we're making contact with the ball. And then two, it'll also give us more forgiveness, more stability when we hit that ball off center away from our sweet spot. With most rackets, if we're not hitting that ball in our sweet spot, that racket's gonna move a little bit when we don't make solid contact with that ball. By adding a little bit of weight here, that'll allow us to hit those off center balls and keep that racket more stable and not let it move around as much at contact. Another area that we can add weight to the racket is gonna be in the throat here. So what is this gonna do for us? If we add weight in the throat, it's gonna one, make that racket a little bit heavier, and two, it won't affect the balance. So if you really like the way a racket feels when you're hitting the ball, but you just think it could use a little more weight, good spot would be putting it in the throat. So we get that little extra power, a little more weight, but then we don't lose that balance that we like when we're hitting that ball. The last area of our racket that we would usually add weight to would be the grip. So what are the advantages of adding weight to our grip? First thing is gonna be, it'll allow us to get more spin since we're making that racket more head light and bottom heavy. That'll allow us to maneuver our wrists more and get more spin on that ball. And two, it won't change the swing weight. So once again, if you like the way you're swinging the racket, how it feels when we're swinging, you can add some weight to the grip That'll help you get a little more spin and it won't change that swing weight that you like. When we're playing tennis, our racket is our most important tool. So even though it's very important that we learn how to swing properly and hit that ball, if our equipment's off and we're not 100% comfortable with it, that's gonna throw off the rest of our game. So it's really important that if you aren't comfortable with how your racket's feeling, one, you can make these adjustments yourself and add some lead tape. Or two, go to your local pro or racket technician and ask them for help and they can steer you in the right direction. There's three things I want you to take away from today. One, both of our rackets, if we own multiple rackets, should feel similar when we're playing. So by doing this racket customization, Ideally, we're making all of our rackets feel similar when we're playing. Second thing I want you to remember is going to be the more weight we have on that racket, the more work that racket's going to do for us. So the heavier that racket is, the more power we're going to be able to get on that ball. However, if that racket's too heavy, it's going to be harder for us to swing and we're going to lose some of that power that we're gaining from the more weight. The last thing I want you to remember from this video today is gonna to be the balance of our racket and how that affects what we can do when we hit the ball. So the balance is how that weight is distributed throughout our racket. So if our racket's head heavy and most of that weight's up in the frame here, 
That's gonna allow us to get more power because there's more weight, more force going into that ball. If the racket's head light and most of that weight's towards our grip, that's gonna allow us to get more spin because we'll be able to maneuver our wrists more and generate that spin. Thank you everybody for tuning in tonight. Look forward to talking to you again soon.